I promised you I wasn't gonna wait a hundred days until my next video, so here we are. I'm going to show you an Inkscape tutorial on how to create this minimalist map. We'll do Con France, but this is a new format, so I wanna be able to make these quicker to deliver more information to you, and I also wanna try new applications, new software. So before, we've always made these maps, if you've been on my channel, using OpenStreetMap, and we still will, but there's a new way to access OpenStreetMap. It makes the process 10 times more efficient, and I'll show you here. So it's actually called QGIS. This is also open source. I've been playing around with it for a couple weeks, and I'll say it is not, a, it's even less intuitive than Inkscape, but that's okay. So that's why this is a ride along type tutorial where, where I'll show you what I'm, how I'm using it. And once I get more comfortable, if you wanna see a full breakdown, we'll do that. So let's just jump into QGIS, just like Inkscape, a lot of action going on. How the heck do you use this thing? Basically, just to cut to the chase, it gives you access to all these different base maps. And good old open street map is here. So I'll click on this and you get the whole world at your fingertips and you can start zooming in or there's plugins, you can download them for free that lets you do a lot of things quicker and more efficiently. One of the plugins lets you just type in whatever you want. So I guess I was already doing this. I did con and here we are. So take a look. Let's just for now, I'll keep it super simple. This view, the default is what we'll play with. You can zoom in, zoom out, reposition, but keep in mind, for some reason, QGIS, whatever the view is, this canvas they're calling it, that's what will be manipulated with the data and what will be exported. So we've got this view here, and I want to get access to just the roads and the water. And there's a way to do that. Besides standard, I'm going to go to this plugin called Quick OSM. And in the three presets, I want urban. And remember I just said the canvas is what they take into account. Hit canvas, then run preset. And it should pop up and we can start playing with it. There it is. I'm gonna zoom out just a touch. I wanna make sure I get enough of this bay here. I wanna get rid of OpenStreetMap now. This is still OpenStreetMap data, but this is now that urban view. If you remember from my previous OpenStreetMap Inkscape tutorials, we did spend some time selecting all these different labels and getting rid of them, but watch how easy it is with this. Click on Road, and in the pop-up under Labels on the sidebar here, very first drop-down, just choose No Labels, and then Apply. And they're gone, super simple. Now the buildings, does they do look pretty cool, but for our map, we don't need them, we'll get rid of them. This looks great. I don't need this roadway here to be in that color. We also don't need all these different ratio, scale ratios. So I'll take out the top two. We'll just use, yeah, we need this one right here. And for that motorway, let it just be a regular road. So this looks good. I do want to get the actual SVG object of the border here. So I want the water. There's also a couple islands that we just lost, but they are there. The way you do that is you go to this plugin called Quick OSM, Quick Query, and I want to do boundary. What kind of boundary? Maritime. And then again, we got to make sure we're just doing, here it is, canvas run. There it is. So it doesn't matter that it's orange, but if it really bothers you, you can click on it. For the sidebar here, it's not labels. We'll go to symbology. Is that how you say that? Double click and we're gonna change this when we get there. We'll just do random blue apply. All right, so there's the other island. We'll, we're gonna take care of all this in Inkscape. So how do we get this over to Inkscape? This is probably the least intuitive, but this is how you do it. We're gonna to go to project new print layout. Okay, and now what do you do? <laughs> you gotta add the map, which is this little icon here. And all you do is just click and drag over this canvas and it will reproduce that other canvas view. That's all we need. You can go crazy in here and use this as your Inkscape and make changes, but I'm gonna go back where I'm more comfortable. So we'll do layout again, export as SVG, close that, and we'll call it, I'll do the cardinal sin, I'll call it something random I'll never remember, <laughs> save. And we want to definitely make sure we export map layers as SVG. 
groups vectors c that's it so thank you qgis and let me know if you want to get more involved with this as i learn it maybe i can spend some time doing a tutorial like a proper tutorial on it but for now let's just go back home to inkscape so i'm going to go get my file I'll drag it onto the canvas first trick you may not know this baseline perimeter here i'm going to actually resize the canvas to that and there's Quick way to do that, you can go to Document Properties or File, Document Properties, hiding right here, resize to content, whatever you have selected, I'll hit that. It'll think for a second, and now we have a new canvas, uh, sorry, a new page that actually will be easier to manipulate and export if you're going to do this to sell it or if you're going to make it for your living room. I want to first clean up the ocean, double clicking and deleting each piece. Next, I'm going to make sure I select the ocean. It's on unset, so who knows what's going to happen when I actually click on the fill here. So it changes it to black. Let's make it go back to a blue. We're going to make it white in the end, but just for clarity, I'm going to get rid of the stroke. Just X out of it. All right, so that's good for now. Let's do our baseline. Remember we had this. I want to make this, this color here. We'll go to fill, and we'll choose that. Make it brighter, a little dull. Before we address the roads, I gotta take care of the bottom corner here. There's plenty of ways we could fill in the ocean down here. Let's just go to the Bezier pen tool and we'll just draw a triangle like that. In the final design, I actually want the whole ocean to be white, but it's good to keep in mind if we didn't fill this in and we exported, it would be transparency there, it might mess it up. So now we've got the two pieces white and let's address the roads. I think I wanted to have the roads white too. Let's see, yeah, it is. If I select it and I go to stroke, I can see here are the roads. I know I've got them selected and let's make them white. And there we go. Let's actually put the, let's put this on it. And that is it. Having it in Inkscape lets you change up the color to any way you want when you export It'll just take the page, which keeps it nice and clean. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Let me know if you want to see further with QGIS. I am teasing this out. I'm going to try Affinity, see what that's all about, compare it maybe to Inkscape, and we'll take it from there. All right, see you next time. Bye.